I am Dungeon Master, your guide in the realm of Dungeons and Dragons. Welcome back, everyone. I am the Dungeon Master, and this is Dragons of War. Today, we are rejoining the party in the midst of a massive melee. They are being beaten, and they are feeling the, the hopelessness of the battle press in around them as many of their members have already been mauled and maimed. In fact, the biggest and baddest of them, Bright Roar, the Minotaur, is currently unconscious and dying. On top of that, uh, Gorakul is running lower on spell slots, if I remember correctly. Their their healer is is I, not out, but you know definitely spent a, a spell slot or two. And I mean, I have one level spell slot left and two second level spell slots left. Okay, so you you have some, but what is that three? So you know that's yes, yeah. not gonna not gonna get you guys through the week, and and. Uh, Everybody else is either at, you know, the the threshold for, for where they can withstand stuff, or they're a non-melee combatant currently being swung at with spiritual weapon axes and, you know, uh, things like that. Uh, your, your bitey slayer is uh, currently engaged in melee, and uh, so at... As a result with all of this, it just comes down to you guys are um, in a bad spot. And that is where we pick up 
with the combat tracker taking us into round four. Oops, I have to... It, the combat tracker automatically sets itself for one minute uh, countdown. I give you guys two and a half because one minute's a little too fast for anyone, especially newer players. All right. So. Flame Slayer's going to just kill them all with one fell stroke. <laughs> nope, I disengage and disappear. What? Warren. Mighty Slayer does not do that. That is not a that is not an NPC move by Buddy Slayer. Yeah, it, it's it's it's, it's more of a being safe. Yeah, it's what needs to happen. I, I more just, specifically, Brian, it is what this NPC's move is. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Bite, Bitey, Bitey looks at at Gorakul as as he turns, and as he passes by Ryun and Lucy. He whispers, Bitey, sorry. I say back, it's okay! <laughs> Gora Cult. Oh, right where it's down. Oh yeah, that's, an, that's a success though. Okay, it's my turn. <laughs> I'm surrounded on both sides by two orcs. This is not a pleasure filled situation. Um, let's see. I think I'm going to do... Uh, uh, I think i got to do Raffle Smite against the orc who's above me. Because okay. I'm hoping they fail the wisdom save and then are frightened. Yeah, yeah. So, of course, that requires that this hits. So, you know... Right. Oh. Baby. Yes. <laughs> but you, you got to You got You got to target. It's okay. Oh, you, can, you can still target now, and it it'll still. Control. It'll still. I gotta. There. there. Okay. All right. <laughs> All uh, so do I have to do anything nope, nope, for the nope, damage? You're, you're okay. good. You're good. Oh no 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 no! Nineteen for the. Ah oh, darn. Box. Yeah. I'll take the crit, though. It's good enough. Oh, and uh, that does not appear to have crit. What? Yep. Oh. Yep, nope. That, Should... did, that did not crit, because it should have oh. been 2d8. Uh, so let me let me give him his 11 hit points back, and then go ahead and hit the uh, the critical damage and, and uh, do that. But one second. All right, now go ahead. Uh, where's, where's the button for that? Uh, oh, the plus minus up at the upper right of the whole page. Okay, Modifiers, right. plus slash minus, and then by where the combat tracker button is. Oh, up there. Yes. Okay, critical. Yes. There we go. Yep, you got it. And then does the smite? Oh wait, the smite already did double, I think. Oh uh, no, yeah. Uh, uh, so hold on, I'll I'll do that again. And, <laughs> Sorry. Uh, you gotta apply your smite because yeah, I, okay. I I should have mentioned that. That's my bad. No, you're good. Okay, one more time. Yep. Um, I do this, and then I do critical, yep. and then Boom, there we go. Boom! There it is. All right. Uh, That's much better. Yeah, well, you know, big, big, big numbers, big numbers. <laughs> much better. We 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 nice. want we want to we want to see we want to see the results of all of this. You know, if if you're gonna take thunderous smite as a paladin and and get the critical hit, then you want to see all of the dice and all of the big numbers, and you know, really let that orc have it as your rapier pierces into the orc he is blown backwards by the thunderous power of your glowing sword boom he blasts backwards into the rock knocking himself unconscious and dying excellent oh shoot i might have done the wrong spell there why i think i said th i thought i said raffle smite but it's oh Oh, I'm sorry. No, no, it's okay. No, that's on me. I just clicked the wrong button. Do you want me to redo it? Uh, or... it, it does it change anything? Uh, it changes it from... Uh, I, I think it goes to 1d6 instead of 2d6. Oh. 
Well, no. Should I redo it? No. Okay. Then that, that, that's my turn. Yeah. <laughs> it is yeah. dead. Let Sorry about that. Oh, good, man. What is dead may never die. Hey, little uh, gnome, what you doing down there? Hey, so I have an idea. D, I'm going to run this by you. Okay. We'll see what your, what your thoughts are on this. Okay. Um, I want to convince the leader that this is actually a feint and that the real attack is going to be happening on his camp. Now, the way that I'm going to go about doing this is Pesci's going to stand forward and say, hold fast, it's only going just a little bit more time before the true attack appears. Bitey Slayer, go! Notify the troops that we have them pinned down here. Let their attack go. And I want to use Suggestion as well to lace a little bit more magic into this. Okay, but it's not your turn yet. Work 4 gets to swing at you first. Oh, he gets to swing at me. Okay, so he swings yeah. at me. So he, looks, um, he looks down at you and asks you what you're doing down there and then swings his great axe down at um, you. I do want to interrupt this with cutting words. Okay. There we so, go. There's the cutting. Uh, so when a creature that you could see within 60 feet of you makes an attack roll, an ability check, or a damage roll, you can use a reaction to expand one of your uses of Bardic Inspiration, rolling a Bardic Inspiration die and subtracting the number rolled. You choose okay. to use you can choose to use this feature after the creature makes its roll, but before the DM determines whether the attack roll nope. or ability check succeeds or fit. Nope, that's not the way that one works here. You gotta you gotta just declare it like once I say I'm gonna attack you. Okay. So I'm declaring it. <laughs> yep. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so here, here, here we go. You go ahead and roll, and then I'll roll, and then we'll see what happens. Well, do I need to target him or no? Uh, no, you just you just roll your die. Whatever the, the right. Bardic Inspiration die is, D8 or D6. Oh, you already no. apply. Oh, no, that's perfect. You can Yeah, you can target me and apply that to me then. that's that, That'll work. No, it just says damage minus 1D6. Attack, it, doesn't, it didn't actually roll. No, it, it won't. You you gotta you gotta target. Oh, him. I need to target him. I see what yeah. you're saying. Target him. Am I target? No, I'm not targeting him. Now am I targeting him? Let me uh, see. Yes, yes. Now I am targeting him. Okay. Now I use it. <laughs> there you go. All right. And so now okay. I can just roll, and then it'll automatically. Sweet. Automatically miss you. Okay. Woo! Great. So Pesci says. After he swings, he says all this. <laughs> if, if that's possible. Well, I'm first, here for the feint. Wait, 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 I don't know. Wait, wait, what hold, are you hold, here for? Hold, hold, hold on. Hold on. First, you have to say one thing before he swings, because that's what okay. causes him to miss. So what do you say before I he say, swings? I'm here for the feints. What are you here for? Okay. And then he, and then he you know, misses, and then you can say whatever you want, because it's your turn. Yeah. So now, sorry, I'm eating my lunch. It's leftover pizza. That's okay. yesterday. It's okay. Um, so now... What are your thoughts on my trick? Uh, well, I mean, as always, player agency means that you can try whatever you want. Okay. I do want to try this. It, okay. I'm going to try this. I guess I am targeting the blade of... Il Neville. Il Neville. Um, I say these things. In a dramatic fashion, because I am also an actor. <laughs> um, what should I roll here? Should I just apply suggestion? Should I roll a deception? Uh, so if if you're using suggestion, there's a there's a save with that, right? Correct. So go ahead. But I am stronger with deception than I am with suggestion. <laughs> I'm sure you are, but first you have to use the suggestion. Uh, on him, and that will, you know, just do the suggestion. Okay, I do the suggestion. Hey, he got a 20. What a jerk. God. So, 
now, if you had gotten the suggestion, you were going to get advantage on your uh, roll. Because he got a 20, you're going to get disadvantage on your roll. <sighs> Super lame. Yeah. This is mega lame. I know. All right. So, as part of this, I am also going to be using cutting words into the Blade of Ilverness's uh, response roll. I don't know what... Is it... There's a counteraction against me, right? So it's an ability check. So I'm doing this to counteract his ability check. Uh, no, it's a set DC. That's a set DC. Okay. Let me apply disadvantage to myself. I'm going to use a point of inspiration to remove the disadvantage. Okay. Yep. That works. Um, and deception. I will roll deception. Should I use a point? I can't use two points of uh, inspiration, can I? No. Okay. Come on, something good. Huh. Well, that's pretty good. And... Uh, he does indeed believe you that there is more of an attack coming. However, just because he thinks that there is more of an attack coming doesn't mean that he's not going to finish you guys off first before, you know, dealing with that. Okay. So, okay, I think that's the end of my turn because that's my action. All right, I will complete my turn. As Lucy, a uh, quick question. I, again, forgetting the rules here. I've got Cure Wounds, I, and I have three spell slots that are still available here. Um, can I Cure Wounds and then attack, or can I only do one at a given turn? Only one. Okay, all right. Sorry, uh, Gorkul's up first. Gorkul. Gorkul, sort of flying around, decides to cast Cure Wounds on Ryan while he's sort of flight. It sort of looks like an angel sort of touching a paladin, even though he's Ooh. very... A dragon angel. Always you heard yourself, Gabriel. Thank you very much. It's because... Oh, can, you, can you put those on to... You take that roll and put it on to uh, Ryan? Oh, you got it. Okay. It's sure. already on. Okay. Oh, I thought it was doing this. Okay. All right, there we go. All better. Fixed. Gora, cool. My, my dad said everyone was about to die and that I should come. <laughs> <laughs> yes! So so we can sneak Ellen someplace she comes in at the last minute? I mean, if you want her to die too, I guess. Sure, let's do it. Wow! Well, I was signing up to die. I think we're gonna be okay. We've only got what, like three orcs left to kill. Yeah, but they're the big bad ones. No, there's only one big bad one. Uh, you will get attacked if you move there, Gorok. Oh, there are two big bad I'm ones. I'm flying. Remember, you had to touch Ryun. Yes, and Ryan, but then uh, I Ryan's really short. Up. I, I, I can draw you a, a 3D diagram in between sessions, but I'll show you how you cannot get to within five feet of Ryun without entering their squares. And then Hold on, no, no, because 12 is dead. So if he goes over 12, he would be fine. Yeah, oh. yeah that would make sense. You're still leaving five square. Oh, before, before. I got you, I got you. Before, before. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah, I, I will allow that, yes. Okay, there we go. Okay, so Ryan is pretty... Okay, Gabriel's at the end of your turn. Yeah, I, before I then sort of fly up into the air to avoid being hit once again. So, uh... So you're gonna, can, you, can you throw LD on the, uh, on the uh, battle tracker then? Uh, I'm still working on getting on there. Yeah. Uh, I was going to yeah. say, as soon as she connects... <laughs> it recorded, like... It said, like, I couldn't do it without updating because I hadn't updated in a while. DM, this is what happens when you have an Italian family. You try to just bring as many of them as you can in the battle. You know, it's, that's why the Italians lost so many wars. Yeah. All right. Yeah. You know, at least since the Romans. All right. Uh, so as Lucy. All right. Um, I am here. Um, 
Ryan, what do you think? Should I heal you some more? Guy? You're in pretty good shape. I'm just going to have to attack this guy next to me then. Yeah, I think yeah. we just take uh, him no, down and just, then continue. Uh, shoot an arrow at number one. No, because I got somebody next to me who's going to kill me. And you can double click your token to pull up the map then, Elodie. From your character sheet. Okay, that's awesome. Oh, he yep. is stunned and can't take reactions. And he has disadvantage on attacks and checks. Fantastic. Ooh, there we go, Elodie. Really just came right in. <laughs> Orc 1 is going to... That's second that 20 in like 30 minutes. Move down here and attack Gorakul. I'm in the air, so it's going to be at disadvantage. You're only five feet in the air, though, so. Still not. It's still at high level to an orc. Still higher than you both. Yeah, that gives you the negative two. Him, negative two. Mm hmm. That's what I mean. No, 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 19. You are Ow. heavily damaged as the orc's axe cuts into you. And Goroku just couldn't, can't help but say, Ow! And then I move here and also attack Goroku. The orcs team up on you as you try to weave your way in the air out of the way. Oh, sweet. What does that mean? It means I can use Il Neville's command again. Uh-oh! Oh, come on. Um, anything that I can use cutting words, I will be. Uh, so three of my allies get to make an attack. So you can use it on any one of the three orcs that are about to attack. That would be orc 5, 1, and 4. All right. I'm going to use it on the one that is targeting um, Garkul. So I guess that's one. Let me, let me get it prepped. Ah. There you go. Okay. Ali. So, now all of the orcs attack again. Why me? Why me? It's a great song. I love that song. Ow! Uh -oh. That's not good. And then uh, that actually does save you guys just a little bit because that means that Orc 1 is now unable to make an attack. He doesn't have anyone he can attack. So that's that's something. So I used it on the wrong orc. Okay. It 
Sorry, Eric. You are heavily wounded as Orc number four says, I don't get it. And then after using Il Neville's command, I use aggressive to take a bonus action to move 30 feet towards an enemy I can see. And that would be Ryun. Uh oh. And oh, then I attack with my longsword. Oh! Miss. Need a miss. Whoa, what happened? Oh, I'm attacking Bright Roar too. My bad. Okay, so Ryun, I hit. Uh. Oh, wait. Yeah. Sorry. And then I attack again. Man. And I hey. miss. Well, that's a start. Yeah. <laughs> and then... Oh, look at that. Orc number 12 might live. Darn. <laughs> you guys are like, not if we have anything to do about it. Uh, the Eye of Groomsh is going to direct the spiritual weapon to attack Pesci again. Ah, uh, skip brutal. Hey! Even with the advantage from flanking, it cannot hit. That's good. And then I am going to. Hmm. End your turn. Come on. You don't need to do anything more. Uh. You well, think it's all. There's an attack incoming. Yeah, <laughs> you better get back to. I know. I just. You know, I'm wondering if maybe I should, like, cast a second spiritual weapon here, maybe? Can I do that? Isn't spiritual weapon concentration? Uh, that would be okay. That would be okay. I, I don't I don't see concentration. Nope. Verbal somatic oh. duration one minute. Yeah, no. Darn. Yeah, I think I'm just gonna make another spiritual weapon, I guess. Sorry. I am trying to kill you. If that, you know, helps. Oh, what? Okay. You just go ahead and live this turn. Hey! Alright, so where's Elodie on the map? Uh, exactly. Yay, yeah, it's my has, turn. As Elodie has finished her uh, elven retreat, whatever she uh, needed to do last last week when she was indisposed, yeah, she, was she has... She has come back and and has seen you guys engaged in this battle and can uh, decide whether she wants to just be like, oh, I'm sorry, uh, this is not where I parked my wagon and leave, or, you know, get murdered. Well, I mean, like, I can't stand and watch by as my friends are killed, so I'm going to have to intervene. You don't have to sound so um, sad. That does imply <laughs> that I am a friend. <laughs> I mean, I literally, I journeyed with you. I must have some, like, I can't hate you, Pesci. <laughs> All right. Um, and, uh, and Andrea, just mm -hmm. to help you out with, like, what to do. Uh, I'm ha going Hazard, to I'm going to stop you right there. Let let her let let her play her character. I, I, I understand. I'm just also I'm trying to help her. Like she she does just fine. She she knows what she likes to do. If she wants help, she'll ask you. Sorry, I'm sorry. Just 
Okay, so is like one of these orcs the most powerful? Is it like the blade yeah. of Ineville? Or the, the blade of Il Neville is the big muscly guy, and then the Eye of Groomsh is the spellcaster, who is currently casting yeah. magical weapons at Pesci. Okay. Cool. Um... How far away am I from everybody? Like, if you click on uh, uh, control, uh, left click on them, it'll it'll give you the target and it'll tell you how far you are. Okay, but it, just, but it's roughly like a hundred. I'll just feet, target one of them. Like less than that, like eighty feet at most for most of them. Yeah, for like the for the one I clicked, it was sixty. So yeah, I just wanted to see like. If I should be moving or not. Well, Which most depends, of mine are like... Oh, I'm sorry. I don't mean to cut you off, but don't forget those are some trees like right there blocking your line of sight. So... Mm -hmm. So how far can I move if I still want to cast something afterwards? 30 feet. Six squares. Six squares. Hmm. One... No, that's 30 feet. <laughs> okay, so uh, right. you, you move there, but right now you're on, on the line. Which, which square are you trying to move into? I just went for whatever would give me 30 feet. So if that's... Yeah. The square that's thirty go. feet, then yeah. that's the one I meant. Yep, yep. Just wanted <laughs> to, the square just wanted lines to get are super faint at this, like the distance I was at, so I couldn't quite tell. Yep, no worries. Um, okay, now to figure out who I want to target. Yeah, so now you can see like where your lines of sight would be. So like everybody on the southern end there would be like obscured, of course. Yeah, so I mean like and this this one's too far, so I'm I'm thinking orc one is really like my best option here. Yeah, for sure. That's the clearest target is what okay. I'm agreeing with just so that we're clear. <laughs> um Yep, can't can't use Ice Knife because I don't want to kill Gorokul. <laughs> so I'm gonna use Ray of Frost. <laughs> well, oh, if you're using Ray of Frost or Frostbite um, you could target the orc blade of Il Neville. Yes, he is uh, slightly obscured, um, but uh, Frostbite... Oh, I'm sorry, not Ray of Frost. Frostbite doesn't use a t uh, uh, attack target. It's a, it's a save. So you can, oh. you can see any part of him. You can just Frostbite him if you want. I am not saying not to take out Orc 1. I cannot stress enough that I am just presenting you with all of your options. Yes, that is good information to have. <laughs> I would rather take that one out, so I'm going to do Frostbite then. You mean Ray of Frost? Nope, Frostbite. That's the same mm, one. No. Ray of Frost would be negative two, just like how you were up in the air, so it was harder to hit, because this guy is kind of behind a tree from where she's standing. He would have been harder to hit, but the save doesn't matter, except for like these guys just can't fail or whatever. Uh, wait, hold yeah, on. That, so that that's... should not be DC 10. I know I know he's still saved because it's not DC 18, but DC 10 is not right. So let me fix that. Yeah, it's still a very good roll either way. <laughs> right, <laughs> unfortunately. Okay. All right, so... so that's, I believe, all that I can do, so I'll just end my turn. Yes. So, uh, it looks like your ability should be Charisma. There we go. And then that puts your save at 13. Perfect. And I, once again, dart off saying, Bitey, sorry, as he runs oh, through the bushes. <laughs> Player cannot leave us. Oh no. Right or no.
Oh dear. Okay. Nope, not yet. Well. Okay. <laughs> not, not, nope, not yet. <laughs> I'm in a mighty unpleasant situation. I've got an orc on my left, an orc on my right, and a dead friend right in front of me. And I'm not I, dead yet. A dying friend. <laughs> What's that? And I have, he says he's not dead yet. <laughs> and I have five hit points of lay on hands. Tis but a scratch. So, uh, I think... It's a fresh wound. I think I'm gonna heal Gorakul in hopes that, um, he can then heal me on my next turn. Um, yeah, so I'm gonna use five points of lay on hands on Gorakul. And, okay, yeah, there's only one orc whose turn is before him. So... That's my plan. And with that, I think I will end my turn. All right. You bend down and lay your hands on the dying dragonborn. As your hands begin to glow, his wounds heal, and he is once again conscious. Hey, you're not dead yet. Not dead yet. For a gnome, you take a hit well. Usually I have to pay extra for that. <laughs> as he... As I use uh, disengage and then run away. <laughs> He bravely ran away. One, two. I want to hide behind these rocks. Spiritual weapons can't uh, do a. Uh, I can't get an attack of opportunity from a spiritual weapon because you need a bonus action to attack with it, right? Uh. You need your reaction to attack with it, not your bonus action, your reaction. I thought the bonus, the, the spell specified, and that's for uh, attack of opportunity. Right. Okay, yeah. So my point is, you can't draw an attack of opportunity from a spiritual weapon, because it's just the mechanics of how it works. You can, because you can still use your reaction to, to attack. Oh, no. Yeah, no, you're right. Yeah, because you can't, you can, yes. I'm sorry. Okay. Yes, you are correct. I wanted to make sure that before I messed up and got a tattoo to attack the opportunity on me. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, you're good. So, All right. so now the orc still does, though. Um, I use my... As I'm running, I'm going to use my bonus action um, to target Bright Roar and wait, say... Wait, wait, wait. Which, are you doing something about the orc's attack of opportunity? Because he's about to attack you. I use disengage oh. to get away. Oh, well, then you didn't have to worry about the attacks anyway. Disengage allows you to move without being attacked from anything. Oh, I thought it was just a, t a single target. No. Okay. Nope. That's awesome. <laughs> um, my that, bonus action, though... Gonna, that's why I was confused. I'm like, are you literally, literally going to like take the attack of opportunity here? You don't have enough hit points for that. <laughs> yeah. So, question. Um, oh, no, that's an action. I can't do that. All right, so healing word is a bonus action. Yes. Um, and I need him up, right? So he's currently at zero. Yes. So how many spell slots do I have? I have two level two spell slots left. I'm going to cast healing word. Not heroism. Healing word. Okay, I want to cast Healing Word as a level 2 spell. It's not currently in my level oh, 2 spell slots. I got it. No problem. I could just use it twice because it just nope. adds an additional nope. D4. No, that's not, that's not how it works. Okay. Don't worry. I got it. No worries. It takes two seconds. Cool. And one more second while I put the other dice in. Boom. There you go. Okay, cool. I am targeting you, Bright Roar. 
And as he is running past you, um, he says, uh, you really need to be on the move instead of the floor. Then and again, he maybe, you for nine. maybe it's time you guys hoofed it. Yeah. <laughs> And I use the second level spell slot, and that is my turn. Hey, we're cool. We're supposed to heal Ryan back. Let's go. And I do just that. Not before I change into my my others my my starry form of the chalice. Oh, wait, hold on one second. Also, you still have another form left? I thought you already used all that. No, 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 no. No. I still have another form left. Okay. I'm just gonna just gonna use Goracles using his powers of the stars, heals himself and Ryan and says, All righty, Ryan, I hope you have a plan because I, we're being overwhelmed by these orcs. I don't have a plan. Let destiny guide us. I'm going to try to get rid of orc. See if I can do that with longbow here. How how do you how do you still have one left? You can only do it by expending a use of your wild shape feature. I had a second wild shape. Just... Sorry, are we still working on Gorkle here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I'm sorry if I'm being confused. No, I, I'm. I might be wrong. I'm looking it up. It's okay. I just want to make sure. Okay, so you're a level two druid, which means that you have. Uh, starting at second level, you can use this feature twice. You regain expended uses when you finish a short or long rest. Now, didn't you use your chalice form and your starry form, or your dragon form, last uh, battle, last session? No, I just used my dragon form. Okay. I, I thought you had already used your, your healer's form and then switched to your dragon form to fly up into the air. That's why I was confused. Yeah, that's fair. And no, it's, you're, you're, it was... you're good with doing this. I want to be clear. I'm just letting you know that that's where my confusion lies, is that I thought first you used your chalice, then you used your dragon, and so I thought you were trying to use it again. But uh, yeah. if you if you only use your dragon, I yeah. I could be misremembering, yeah. and I would just rather move yeah. forward. So we're good. Good, okay. good. All right, so now I'm going to try to get, get uh, five off of uh, Ryan's back. And let's see if that works. We'll find out. Okay, not bad. Yeah. Not oh. Good. Gotta hate those min damages. Yeah, that sucks. All right. So close, Ryan. I apologize. All good. All right. Well, Orc One is completely screwed up, so hopefully. And Bright Roar's coming back. Bright Roar's back on the bounce. Oh, uh, also, if if Lucy is making a ranged attack next to the Orc Blade of Ill Neville, uh, that would be at disadvantage. 
It's okay. We're we're moving forward. I'm just letting you know for next time. Okay. Go ahead. No, 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 19. Ouch. And again. Yeah, is Orc 5 targeting Garkul? Yes. Garkul, how hurt are you? I can't see your bar because there's an Orc blocking it. He's got three. He's got three hit points left. Yeah, I got three hit points left. All right. Um, can I actually use my cutting words? Okay. Um, I'm using my cutting words on Orc Five. Actually, didn't I already use my cutting words on Orc Five? Uh, yes. Five. But also, haven't you used all of your bardic inspiration now? I have one left. Oh, okay. But I used it on our Orc 5, so it should still affect him. Because he never got a chance to swing it, or cool. It, it wouldn't have expended then. Yeah, so he still has it. Okay, cool. No, 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 what I'm saying is it would still be on him. So I did swing at Gorakul. Oh, I see. Okay. Let me use it on him. Come on. Use it. There we go. Now that's my last point of bardic inspiration. Oh, got it anyway. Ow! I tried. <laughs> what am I? A, a walking stammered sponge? Well, yeah. yeah. So far, this battle. So far, this battle. We're, uh, you know, we're, uh... All right. Ryan. Ah. Right. Uh. I don't know. Yeah. Don't know. Turn towards Turn Lucy. Toward Yeesh. Oh, that's some oh, min that's min damage. Cool. <laughs> that. No, 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 19. Orc 12 is going to live. No. All, right. All right. I move the I... spiritual weapons to attack Bright Roar. Come on. I just got up. Well, you can't sleep the day away. Ooh, that ain't good. And, I'll take it. And then this one moves down here. How is he going to be able to do that? He can only direct one with bonus action. Uh, so uh, what so what he can do is use the standard uh, action uh, next time, but not this time because he needed all of his actions to move that. both of them and attack once. Okay, I see. So he used the standard action to do another bonus action. Right, correct. Understood. Understood. Makes sense. Elodie, you watch as the battle is just going great. Oh, yep. Fantastic. <laughs> um, I think I'm going to try the same thing again. Okay. Let's Are you see. sure you can't just move around and just hit Orc 1 or 5 with a... F I mean, I can, but the thing is, like, Nobody's coming to attack me right now, and I think that's a positive position to stay in, considering how low my health is generally. Yes, and uh, cut off the head and the snake will die. Yep, you know, I feel like as long as I can hit this guy, I'm, I'm okay with where I'm at. Unless I can't hit them. <laughs> mm. 
the orc seems to be protected by some sort of magic or luck or divine providence. Or just being well, very constitution-wide. Yeah, that could be too. All right, well, I'm going to end the turn again. Lady <laughs> Slayer, come back! No, thank you! <laughs> All right, so Bray Wars back up. Oh my god. Um, can I move down and attack or the weapons magical? Yes. I can't attack. You, you, you can move and attack. Uh, DM, you sort of cut out there. I said you can move and attack. Yes. Sorry. Yeah. Sorry. All right, so I'm going to move that 10 feet. I'm going to go right down. You should move right next to the orc one. Right there. Yes. Yeah, right. Oh, good, good, good. I'm sorry, you're you're breaking up, so I didn't hear that. Second, I can can I go second wind and uh, second wind is a bonus action, I believe. So yeah. Okay. Right. That's fine. Now I'm going to attack with my great axe. Big numbers. Oh come on! It's because you're exhausted. I know. Right. And you don't have an action share. I've used it. Yeah. I do have an action search actually. Oh. Yeah. You used it last time. Oh, I did? Okay. All right. I guess I'm done. Back in the game, but not particularly effective. Yeah. Okay. He could find me after hiding behind the rock. <laughs> yeah, he watched you go there. Uh, no, I think I'm out. Yeah, probably. No. Negative. What? The orc is like, oh, you tough gnome. <laughs> That's one tough gnome, folks. All right. Uh, I guess I'm going to disengage again. And this time, run over here and hide in the bushes. Uh, as I'm running past, I'm going to... I need to heal either Rayon or Garakul. So in the halfway of my run... Um, who should I heal? I would go with Ryan. Ryan? Uh, does Gorkul have any spell slots left for healing? Cause I oh, no, can't... I take that back. I take that back. Because Gorkul is the next round. Is the next round. Yeah, do you have any, any spell slots? We're kind of metagaming it a little bit too much. So the DM is feel free to, like, cut us off. Because currently, Gorkul is next. So I would heal Gorkul. Do you have any spell slots left? Yes, I do have one last spell slot. Go. Here, go. All right. All right. No, I want to cast a level two. What the heck? <sighs> I literally just picked I, it up and dropped it on my character sheet and just rolled it. I think a level one just works. Fine. Okay. Uh, hold because on. I've already marked it down. Okay. 
purple. Then you want to try purple. Well, I'll let you heal, heal my own too. Yeah. All right. So, Garpole, you got my heal, right? Yep. And we're all set. So I used my action to disengage. I ran into the bushes to hide from this orc that's chasing me. I cut off his line of sight because I ran behind or ran around the rock here and into the bushes. So hopefully that's a little bit that he won't run at me. <laughs> and I use my bonus action. Okay. Gabe, you're up. Why didn't why he's not why did Garakul not have my heal? I thought you said that you cast it at the wrong level. I cast it. I left it at one. And I marked it down as one. Unless I, I here, let me recast it then at level two. That's what I was setting you up for. So. Okay. I did this in the middle of my run, not when I'm in the bushes. By the way. There. Okay. One moment, just let me do my thing. Yep. Max! So, yep. So, can I, I can't move without getting an attack of our right? Not without yeah. disengaging first, correct. Right, so I have to, I'm going to shoot. Uh, but, so I'm shooting at disadvantage. Yes. All right. Um, can I use a have these magic arrows? Can I use uh, a <clears throat> Can you use what? Anything I, can use? I have a magic arrow here. Does it matter that I, I have a magic arrow? You, you can use that if you want. Okay. All right, got him anyway. Okay, got rid of one of them. For now. All right. What work one does now. You, I got beef with you. Yes. I think that pun was directed at you. Oh, it's me. Any bright work. Well, he roars very brightly. He misses! Oh, good. Yay, me. Oh, sweet. Oh. What? Death save. All of my orcs attack. Uh, there's only one, there's only two of them. Yay. Of course. How is he not concerned that his camp isn't going to be overrun by our backup? 
because he's an he's a giant dork. He's smarter than the average. Darn. Buddy Slayer ran away. It's all Buddy bad. Slayer was part of my clever <laughs> plan to get him trapped here. <laughs> Obviously, I mean, ugh, tough crowd. All right, so now Oops. he's down. He's... Well, that works anyway. Uh, I can just hit one of you, each of you, once. Oh dear. Oh dear is right. Gorkle's dead again. What am I? The And the eye oh, of come Gorkle. now. Come now. Dead. Do it. End my misery. Nope. The <laughs> spiritual weapon slices into you, but does not drop you. Okay, Elodie, go after work four. Try to work four. Yeah. Okay. Um. Yeah, if we can take out all these different works that are around us, this battle will go a lot differently. Okay, so it'd be better if I did four than one, even though one's like closer to everybody. Go for it, because I get a shot at one. Okay. Okay. Um. Quick question, what does Icing Frost death do again? Uh, damage. Um, it, it's, uh... <laughs> damage. <laughs> yeah, uh, it's, uh, like a powerful, uh, spell that does a cone attack, or like a breath weapon. Oh, yeah, but, like, it's one of those, how big is the cone? <laughs> uh, 30 feet. Okay, yeah, so I wouldn't be able to use it here. Cool. It I remember there was like some that. reason that I... Yeah. Okay, so I could get a little bit closer, question mark. Is there a way... Let me... Can I move this cone, or can you only move this cone? I do believe you I... can move the cone. All right, well, I'm... Okay. I wanted to see... And then if, if there was a way the, in the in the uh, middle, there's you can drag it around. Uh, oh, I'm sorry, not in the middle, at the end where the where the tip is. Okay, yeah, it's very hard to <laughs> click the just the tip. Of it it keeps just moving the map instead. Yeah, it's not moving the thing; it's just moving the map. <laughs> I seem to be able to adjust the size, but not the positioning. I wanted to see if I could get Orc 4 and Orc 1 in it without getting the other people. Nope, just one. Okay. So I'll just do Orc 4 then. Um, so I'd probably have to move like there? Probably one more square. Okay. Do um. So do you have to make the cone, or can I do that somehow? If you right-click, and then the arrow pointers, it'll allow you to draw a cone. It only says delete token, rotate left, and rotate right. <laughs> if you right-click on the map. Oh, just the map? Oh, okay. Uh, drawing. Nope, pointers. 
Uh, up, on, okay. up on top. Um, right click on the map and then the arrow that says pointers. That, gotcha. And then draw cone. Do I have to make it? I'll just make it a little. It does that. Okay. Did that work or did I do something wrong? You Am I supposed to target him as well? Yeah, you gotta target him still. Okay, I didn't know if that was the targeting. <laughs> I wish that they had a way to do that, but I guess you'd have to like confirm that that's all the targets or something, you know? Okay, well, it didn't work anyway. Man, Ellen needs to have one of those days, I'm sorry. Should have had you shooting arrows. Should have shot arrows. Uh, okay. Um. So I can uh, I can attack with my thing. Wing. My memory serves. You broke up right there. Yeah. So I can I can use my horns as well as can I do two. Uh, yes. With the horns. Okay. So I'll do the whole horns. Or swing the great ass first. It doesn't matter. It does not matter. They succeeded. Oh, no. So no. Nope. No? Nope. That's that's no. Nope. Oh, I'm sorry. I gotta do it that way. I'm sorry. Yeah. yeah. There you go. Of course. Although. And then I still have another attack, right? Yes, sir. Work 12 up? Uh, yes. I try to put him back down again. Fine. All right, Ryan. Up to you. Let's go ahead. Yeah, you guys start going after the big bad guy, I think. Yeah, okay. So, orc number one is dead, right? Correct. Yeah. Well, dying, yes. Dying, yeah. Um. Then, yeah, I think I gotta go after the orc blade. Um, yep. You got it. I think I'm gonna use a point of inspiration to give myself advantage on this roll. And uh, I am going to... Sorry, I, I made my battle map too big. Now I have to click between everything. I've, I've made mistakes. Um, <laughs> come on. Okay. Oh, wait. Shoot. No. <sighs> Sorry, I targeted the wrong person. Does a 22 still hit? Uh, yes. Okay. Then I, I can just roll the damage, right? Yes. Oh no, he's got a lot of hit points. This is not gonna. Uh, I have all the hit points. I don't have anything I can do as a bonus action. No, <laughs> I, I'm gonna end my turn. Then I think I'm gonna end your life. <laughs> Where'd that gnome go? That tough gnome was fun to hit. I'll hit this she-elf over here instead. Never mind. Elves are harder to hit than gnomes, but gnomes can take a harder hit. Sorry, Alan. <laughs> okay. As long as he keeps missing. Um, all right. 
Uh, I wish I had Hex. Okay. Uh, Teshi steps out. Well, I guess no. He stays stays put because I think the Blade of Ilverness is within my Dissonant Whispers range. He is. <laughs> All right. Uh, so Pesci uses Dissonant Whispers on Ilverness. Uh, and because it's Whispers, it should be very quiet. Rolls. Yes! Oh, this is going to be awesome! Prepare for awesomeness! Oh, he what, takes what? 12 psychic damage, and then because he failed his check, he must run at full speed away from, uh... On a failed save, he takes 3d6 psychic damage and must immediately use its reaction, if available, to move as far as its speed allows away from you. The whispers that he is whispering is, uh, all the commands and stuff that, uh, you would normally hear during a raid. And do I get an attack of opportunity for this? Yes, you do. Because he didn't disengage. Me, Lucy, and Gorakul all get attacks of opportunity, right? Gorakul's, Gorakul's down. Oh. Yeah, I'm I just, am... I'm just drunk. me and... Just me and Lucy, then. Oh. Does a 17 hit? No. Okay. Also, uh, Lucy would not get an attack of opportunity unless she doesn't want to use her bow. Oh like, yeah, because she'd have yeah, to right. drop. She'd have to drop her bow. My she bad. does have claws, uh, but she'd have to drop her bow. That's true. Um. Yeah, probably not. Well, yeah, she's gonna end up. Being... The little bit of damage, the little bit of damage you might do is yeah, not, it's not worth it. it. Yeah. Yeah. Gotcha. Okay. okay. The the key I, I, I was getting him to run away. Yeah, <laughs> I, I I don't I don't want to like you know deny you a chance to deal. No 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 no. It's all good. It's all good. I got you. All right. Pesci is then going to kind of weave his way a little bit more into these bushes, like in a sort of a hiding pattern, so that way the other orcs don't see him as he's repositioning himself. Um, basically, I don't want people to realize where he is. Um, yeah, but since you've already taken all of your actions, you don't have the I can't action hide. Before. Right. Yeah, but I can at least move a little bit away from things, and because these are thick, heavy bushes, I can get out of line of sight. Yeah. So that way it's harder to pinpoint where he is. And it's night out, so that should also affect their vision. Well, they, and... are, they are orcs. Yeah, I'm hoping. I'm just, I'm just fingers crossed with everything. <laughs> okay, so it's it's my turn at this point. Yes. Lucy's well, Lucy's, turn. Lucy's, yes. Lucy's turn. Yes. Okay, so now I got a, I got a clean shot at this. Game. I'm gonna use. Um... Go for broke. Oh. Uh, I'm going to use the... Oh, that's um, not a clean shot. At okay. all. There you go. <laughs> there um, you go. And I'm going to use... I'm going to use my Hunter's Mark, which means I go by advantage. use of Hunter's Mark. Yep, just uh, apply that right away. There you go. Um, I want to use the Hail of Thorns. So uh, I... Hold on. I don't think you can do that as well as... I, I need to make sure. Hunter's Mark is a bonus action. And Hail of Thorns is a bonus action. And you moved. And you're trying to make a standard attack, so no. Okay, so I have to choose between Hunter's Mark and Hail of Thorns. Correct. Hunter's Mark gives me... More, yeah, I'm gonna use Hunter's Mark is 1d6, but it's free. Hail of Thorns is 1d10, but it's gonna cost you a spell slot. Oh, I see. 
right, let's let's use let's use hail of thorns. Okay, so go ahead and apply hail of thorns if you hit. So first attack. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, here we go. Big roll. Need this one. Of course not. The orc blade of Il Neville raises his longsword, knocking your arrow to the ground. Okay. Here's life in the big city. Ooh, orcs are tough. They're high in constitution. Yes, but can they see why kids love the great taste of Cinnamon Toast Crunch? <laughs> oh, that shows. Mighty Slayer, you're right there. Played in, in, uh, in the back and you're dead. And... Okay, so I am going to use Aggressive to move up to my speed up to Lucy. Uh-oh. Awesome. As a, as a bonus action. And then attack. And attack again. Ow! And then as a move action, I will move up to Ryun. And actually, I will move right there. There we go. Orc 12 is going to step Like around Gorakul's body and attack Ryun. Doesn't that get a attack of opportunity? For no, I'm just I'm just positioning the token in the square since you moved into my square. Ooh, no 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 nineteen. Uh oh. Hey, there you go. Still alive. And then a attack comes from the spiritual weapon on Bright Roar. And the other one. Elodie, the orc has gotten up in your face, but your elven reflexes allowed you to dodge his great axe. Okay. Um, if, if he's this close, do I need to use, like, a dagger or something? You could still cast Frostbite or any of your non, like, ranged attack spells. Okay. Any of the ones that have a save. Uh, Plus Icing Frost Death, if you still have the spell slots. I, I do, because I've only used one spell slot. Yep. So, I'll try Icing Frost Death again. Oh, uh, careful, you're... Oh, no, that that was the... Okay, I thought maybe you were targeting yourself, because I saw a different die roll, but you were good. I'm really glad I wasn't, because it was a good roll. <laughs> yeah. Yay, finally. Uh, but that was Ice Knife. It was? Yep. Oh! I clicked the wrong one. Well, <laughs> did not intend to do that. Because it'll hurt me, right? Uh, yeah. Okay. Also, it would have been at disadvantage, so you'd have to redo the whole thing anyway. Just click yeah. the icing Can death. I? Just click the icing death. So I, it, I can just, okay. <laughs> See, you were rewarded. Woo! <laughs> he critically fails his saving throw as 
your hands form together and a cone of frost blasts out from you. The ice builds up on the orc's skin as he screams in pain. Okay. He is stunned. He cannot take any actions. Here, help us. All right. Right roar. Going to go on everything he's got to try to get this interval thingy down. So he uses horns. And... Of course. You managed right. to hit him with your axe after distracting him with a feint from your horns. It's a heavy blow. All right. Ryan, what can you do? Um, what do we think? Do I take out orc number 12, who's just got a little bit of health, or do I go for the blade of... I think I'm going to go for orc number 12. I think you're right. Because, um... Yep. One less attack. Yeah. Come on. Okay. Nice. I... Yeah, I stabbed Mr. Orc Friend. Right through the chest. So, so, so... Cold. <laughs> <laughs> I think he. Um, I think he has. How bad is? Now. How bad is the orc blade? I mean, he's pretty evil, you know. No, not like <laughs> evil. <laughs> I meant like how. Not what we meant. <laughs> uh, he's as you can see from the the red bar. He's like heavily wounded. Heavily. Uh... I don't think a sleep is going to be effective against him. And I know Garkul is probably going to die if he do, does another save, right? Maybe. I don't know. He's How many has he failed so far? Two? One. One? So if he fails the second one, he, he's dead, right? No. He needs to fail. No. I, it's three strikes, you're out. Or I have to critically fail. Yes. All right. If he rolls so my, one, he could die this round, yes. All right. So my question is, should I spend my action healing you, or should I spend my action messing with the orc blade? I mean... Hmm. I still have a charge of uh, with my breath weapon, though... You're dead. What? Yeah, I know, but I'm. Pe Pechi is trying to talk oh. about. We're kind of metagaming it a little bit. Uh, I understand that the DM wants to just cut us off and make force me to make a decision. However, seeing as how much pain we're in, I don't want to do something that's going to irrevocably destroy the party. No, I've so, given you 35 more seconds. All right. Okay, I'm going to save one spell slot for you because I feel that this is probably going to be the most important move here. Um, I'm going to do another um, another Dissonant Whispers on the Orc Blade. Sounds like a fantastic Again, idea. The whispers are um, orders of uh, orders of um, like an army would give out for a, an attack or a raid. And he fails. 
Ooh, Pishy with the dissonant whispers. And Bright Roar and Ryan gets an attack of opportunity. Yes. He has to move his full distance. Uh, DM, can I roll that attack now? Yes. Come on, big money. That's big money. Yeah. Come on, big money. Uh, Come on, Bright Roar, take him out. Ryan. Hopefully. <laughs> Move over. Oh, that gork blade of Nival is really not looking good. All right, I use my spell slot, and then Teshi then again repositions himself further into this into this brush, away from everybody. <laughs> <laughs> he he he's currently sees himself as a stagehand setting the stage for your epic comeback. <laughs> he's doing his part, <laughs> and that is his turn. <laughs> I hope I. Oh, good! It's not a one. Good. So I. I did save no a spell bad, slot yeah. for you, Garakul. I did save a spell slot. <laughs> good. Wait, you may want to give it to Lucy because at some point, the way character does here. If Garakul ha still has a spell slot left, he can heal Lucy. If he does. I don't know if he does. I can do medicine. I'm good at Yeah, it. I... Pesci really can't. Even after all those whispers of all these different uh, things coming through, he still decides to come back in for an attack. He kills us both. Oh, yes! <laughs> Was that a nat one? One. Wow. That wasn't that one. Our luck is finally turning. Don't jinx it! <laughs> oh, shoot. I'm sorry, guys. We're gonna die now. My bad. I jinxed it. Oh, really? Oh, no. <laughs> Miss. Hey, please. Yay! My AC is Yay. 20. Alright, at least got one more. Gotta go. Alright. Um, well, I'm just gonna attack the work that's on me again. Uh, I've used two spell slots now. Um, I'm just gonna use my dagger this time. Do you have a cantrip that you can use to hit him? I mean, I have, like, frostbite, so I could do that. Cantrips are a mage's regular weapons, basically. That's the only reason why I'm saying that. Okay. Alright, I'll try frostbite then. Yeah. They've been, like, like successing on all of these saves. Oh, well. Um, no, he failed against I have to get out. Yeah, that, he that, failed. Was, that was a fail. Oh, wait. I always forget that which way it's fail or success. I don't, don't like worry. the I, phrasing of it. I make sure that it's correct when I see it, so... Also, I have spared the dying as a cantrip. What? He's still alive. Alive. He can oh, yeah. he can prevent us from dying as a cantrip. Okay. Um. So. Yeah, I have to go, but my dad can keep running my character. <laughs> okay. Thanks for joining. Thanks, uh, Melody. Mm -hmm. Bye.
Bye. All right. So uh, we're going to go to Ryan. Okay. Um, okay, come on. Get, get rid of this guy. Yeah, I, I got to go for Mr. Orcblade and just kind of hope. Um, I'm going to, like, charge at him, seeing the bodies of my friends lying around, and let out a loud scream as I rush to stab him. Ah, oh. damn. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do. I attack Elodie. Great. Uh, this is really rough here, guys. Um... Oh, use your bonus action to heal your Goracle, and then uh, arrow shoot either the Orc Blade or the Orc. Yeah, I'm not really great with arrows. So, uh, okay. 5, 10, 15, 20. Okay. So, bonus action. My last spell slot, healing word, Garakul. Pesci is now out of spell slots. Now. Pesci's vicious mockery is um, he is now using his acting to take on the personification of a commander as he belts out orders to his troops um, to say, ah, oh, this leader, he left his camp wide open and allowed us to destroy it. What a terrible leader he is. I don't see how he could be fit for command as he uses vicious mockery on uh, the orc blade. And hopefully he fails. Uh, nat 20, of course. <sighs> I am the nephew of orc commander. As Pesci then hides. <laughs> orc, orc nepotism run deep. <laughs> Alright, now it's back to Garakul. Cool. Waking up, Sutter sees the orc blade looming over him and is seeing that this is getting from bad to worse, decides to disengage and run! Uh, well, you have exhaustion five, so... Let me just make sure that I have this exactly right for all of the things currently affecting you. You have half speed. And your speed is reduced to zero. And if you drop to uh, zero again, you're just dead. Oh, dear. So your speed is zero because you are at exhaustion five from getting beat down so bad. Oh, boy. <laughs> I can't even get out of the dodge? Nope. You can dodge, yes, you can dodge. But if you meant get out of dodge, no, you can't move. Speed is zero. So I'm going to dodge and hope and pray that this... Things go well. The dodge is at the bottom of your actions tab. Yeah. Just go ahead and double click that. There you go. 
said, now hush, love, here's your, there's the bed, lanterns down, but I don't sleep in all my dreams, I drown. Hey, that's good. Lucy succeeded. That's a, that's a something. All right. Uh, Ryun, you are my last target. Front row. Oh, wait, um, Gorokul is technically up. Yeah, that's right. Mm. But he's, but in all consideration, Gorokul No, yeah, is... I, I'm not, I'm not going after Gorokul. I'm just trying to make decisions about what the best, like, attack is. You know, because if I had no Gorokul to worry about, I could move around and get advantage, you know, yada yada. A miracle! And I will also use Il Neville's command in order to uh, get Orc 4 to attack Elodie. Ah, come on. See that? Okay, well, Oof. Yes. And then I will attack Ryan. With advantage, I will do your chore. Yeah, your target. This will also attack. Hold me, scold me. Can't see it, Gabe, because it seems to be working. Sleep. Yay. Uh, uh, I can just uh, uh, dagger. take out the uh, the boss man. Don't use a Constitution spell, though. Well, I mean, I, I gotta. All right, so I should be using. I finish off work four. I think I gotta finish off work four. So Ryan can take out the um, boss, we'll hopefully. See. Hopefully. Oh, pulling out your dagger. You stabbed the orc and he is surprised. I thought <laughs> you were going to cast a spell. <laughs> She's hit him with so much cold that he's surprised about it. Come back. Let Bitey Slayer come back and slam him. Uh, oh, no. I'm dead. I died again! Yay! Isn't this like your, what, second fight with the new character? Yeah, that's it. All right. Te well, techni you know what? Technically, yeah. <laughs> uh, Sorry. No! No, come on. Let him roll that again. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. I'm out of spell slots here. Go for a Just shoot shot. him with an arrow! Shoot him with an arrow. My arrows are terrible. Alright. Doesn't matter. Wait, hold on. Uh, just in case you hit, I need to get something ready here. Is it going to be. I don't orders? like that. It better not be more orcs. Okay, go ahead. Okay. Um, I'm going to use my point of inspiration here. Okay. But, wait, if this rolls, this doesn't count. Last time I dropped this on my character sheet, it rolled for me. What? You've got to be kidding. <laughs> That's crazy. Oh, fudge. 
sword pulled. Do you have a knife? Do you have a Okay. That is frustrating. Yeah. It was an honor. Ow! Okay. I have one. And she then goes further into the bushes and ends his turn. Uh, wait. That's that's why I said, hold on. As you go to breathe your fire on the orc blade of Il Neville, a crystal amulet around his neck shatters and covers him in a glowing black uh, shield of magical strength. He, <laughs> take, he takes no damage. Okay. We're all dead. No, we're not all dead. We're not all dead. I mean, some of us are dead. Hey, Lucy's stable. That's good. And the Orc Blade of Il Neville, with his Super Mario Star activated, begins to swing at Ryun. Yeah. Turns on Gorakul. Oh no! <laughs> no, it's not good. That's okay. We may all be dead. And then uses Benson. his bonus action to rush at Elodie. Arc 12 died. The Eye of Groomsh moves the blades. <laughs> the, the spiritual weapons surround uh, Elodie, but cannot attack no bonus action left to attack with oh wait yeah one of them can never mind All right, Elodie, surrounded by spiritual weapons and orcs, your companions all down on the ground. What do you do? Well, don't I'm use wrong. anything with Khan. Right, right with a dagger again. No, don't use a dagger. A dagger is not going to hurt him. Say that. Just use something like a, I don't know, the the death thing. The death thing. The death thing. Death. Death. What spells does she have? He's talking about icing frost death. Is that a constitution save? It is a reflex save, I believe, but I don't know that she has the spell slot left. Oh, she does. Uh, if it's a reflex, that means dex? Yeah, dex. So that probably would be better than Khan because orcs are high against I'm not, Khan. I'm not a hundred percent on that, but I think it's. No, actually, icing death frost is a Khan save. Mm, 
Yeah. Dex is Ice Knife. Ice Knife would be better bet then. Right. Except not at all, because it's an attack roll uh, first, and it explodes to attack every creature adjacent to that creature, which would be her as well. Back to, I'm back to using a dagger. No! No dagger! A dagger will not hit it! Hey, Gorakul, you're unconscious. I just killed an orc with a dagger. Yes, but this is an orc. Gorakul is unconscious. I don't have... Um... So Elodie's gonna use whatever Elodie's gonna use. See? Dagger hit. Dagger did damage. Except for it did not. I don't know why I don't I don't know why that just uh did that, but uh that's supposed to be immune to that. Immune to what? All melee oh. damage. I wish I had another spell slot. Uh, yes, all right. You could have used the thing, and Wait. it would have still hurt him. Can I? Can I use? You can. Yeah. Well, I didn't hear you. What? Can I use? Can I use my point of? Can I use a um, uh, point? Uh, can I use my point of inspiration and do a bonus action? No. Okay. But points so of inspiration gonna... give you advantage or uh, negate disadvantage, okay. etc. Uh, they don't give you actions. All right. Well, I'm done. Ooh, critical failure for orc number four. He spits up some black orc blood. All right. Um, DM, I really just want this guy to run away and just leave us alone. Mm -hmm. um, because he's going to kill us, or I'm going to run away and leave everyone here to die. Because I see this as just we're going to die. Um, at least Pesci sees that at this point. Mm-hmm. So, if I use um, a minor illusion to yeah, this is like so. I've tried to to stop it, goddamn it, stop it. So if I try to convince, is, is, is there a way that I can convince him to retreat at this point? I mean, there's always a possibility for, for those kinds of things. You could very easily, you know, make him convinced of it. Uh, obviously, you don't have your spell slots left that have the, uh, you know, um, command or suggestion, etc. properties uh to to be able to do that but there's always uh roles but the thing that you have to remember in situations like these is that when you are already engaged in a combat it ups the difficulty of any of that by a significant you know number because it's one thing to convince me that um you know we don't really have to fight. It's another thing to convince me to stop fighting once we're already engaged in fisticuffs. Yeah. All right. So let's see. I don't have any more spell slots left. This is not going to be pleasant for me. Um, yeah, I still have, you know, a number of hit points left. We're going to see what happens. All right. You don't. Dead. No, I'm, not, not I'm going to target the blade one more time with my vicious mockery. Okay. Um, uh, 
Yeah, he succeeds. Okay. Um, Pesci then moves 25 feet to start moving away as he tells Elodie to retreat while she can. Yeah. And he says this in... What languages does he speak that she would understand that isn't common? She doesn't speak Gnomish. Okay. So I say, um, I say, uh, the attack is imminent. We should retreat it now to let them finish them off. We've done our job. So what I'm going to have you do here, even though like, uh, you don't have like all of the actions for it and everything is as you, you know, move off, you're going to, I assume if you, if you are not, please correct me, but I assume that you're going to eventually like be trying to hide and move further away while keeping an eye back for anyone from the group making their way out of the scrum here. So would you please roll a uh, stealth if that is indeed what you're doing? Otherwise, uh, correct me and let me know what, you know, even No, that's what he's doing. Yeah. Okay. All right, so uh, we'll we'll get to you and what happens. We'll we'll finish up here with this, and then we'll deal with the whole scene of everything and and what's what's going down. All right, the orc blade of Ill Neville attacks Elodie. and. No, 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 19. And then again. And the Eye of Groomsh attacks Elodie. Okay. So now with everyone down and Pesci, run off into the woods. You guys are in a dire spot. And those of you with any consciousness left, look around and see the orcs closing in on you before the your eyes close and you fade into unconsciousness. Your fate unknown as you dream of violence and and um, being thrashed around and and you know some of you might dream that you're on a boat or or something like that as as your minds try to you know deal with everything that has happened, especially Gorakul being exhaustion five that's a that's a level of exhaustion where you know one more level of exhaustion and you would literally just be dead of from exhaustion so you're you're like heat stroke you know levels of of delirious and and all of that pesci because you rolled poorly i am going to give you a uh, choice here. There are uh, two things that are happening, and um, you can be a part of them in which way you choose. Uh, the party is being tied up and taken to. Uh, the orcs camp. You can either be found and captured along with the rest of the party, or you can be found by Bitey Slayer, but then you are both found by orcs and will have to fight your way out of that. Which one sounds more interesting as a choose your own adventure path to you guys. Oof. Um Yeah, cuz remember like I I don't play with kid gloves, you could die in that. 
Well, I could die in either way. <laughs> well, it's true, but at least you know with the first option that I'm saying literally you will be captured, which is not, you know, outright killed. So there's at least going to be something to do, you know. You know. I will take the role play aspect of this rather than the potential fight your way outside of this because there's no way he he can't fight himself out of a paper bag. <laughs> yeah. All right. So he you, may be able to act himself out of a out of, out of a painful situation. Yeah. You you will be captured, but because I want to see how this role play works, like this could be a C three PO type of situation where it's like, yeah, you're captured, but they're carrying you in on a throne. Who knows? You know, <laughs> we'll we'll see how you how you role play all of that. But that's going to be what we do with Pesci. You know, uh, when when we catch up with him is you're going to be captured by the orcs and brought back to the camp. How that plays out will be determined by you and, you know, what what roles we we make and all of that. But for the rest of the party, you guys wake up in a somewhat ramshackle military encampment filled with orcs and trolls and goblins and even fellow minotaur well i shouldn't say fellow minotaurs i forgot bright roar is dead right yeah yeah bright roar is dead so not fellow minotaurs but other minotaurs and um yes. and uh you know just all of the monstrous races and and what have you that um have been invading and you guys are in like a uh, wooden cage area, like a uh, gladiatorial arena almost, like set up with the sp spiked stakes all around and then guards just posted. And you guys are in there with like other uh, people, humans, um, and even like monstrous races are in there as well. Uh, kobolds and uh orcs and hobgoblins you know just all of all of the various uh people that they have like captured and are keeping alive for whatever period of time you know you're all just in there together and so um brian that would be you know your opportunity to pick like basically any of the races that you wish to be and then you're one of one of these guys that are or girls that are that are in here and um you know you guys all kind of are waking up and then brian's new character uh if you have any idea of of what it would be and i because you played bright roar for so short of a time like literally if it's another minotaur named you know uh dark roar like you know it's it's, it's well, again, a... i can go back to i can go back to rah -rush. We'll, just, we'll decide <laughs> yeah 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 so but whatever whatever character it is you're you're in there you've been in there for like a few weeks you kind of know you know the routine and everything so you're you're able to kind of mentor and and guide these guys how to like stay alive during this crucial you know first uh couple days or whatever because these orcs like to like to do you know all kinds of torture and sacrifice and you know all of that um and so uh go ahead and and if anybody has anything that they wish to you know do and then we'll we'll get wrapping up in in a little bit and uh you know pick up next week with you guys in the camp so um that sounds good we'll uh we'll probably skip next week do the week after it sounds like um ryan henry just to confuse you even more is is up for playing so we'll probably add yet another character i'm assuming uh that um you know ryan is probably out for a while yes is that is that fair tony yeah if i can make it i might come next week but like after that because I, I i gotta see how the cliffhanger wraps up you know but yeah. uh, i'll i'll let you know um whether i'm able to make it or not okay and look if adjusting the time a little bit makes sense and that helps you just 
just drop me a note and let me know because we're going to try to figure out, you know, what the schedule is and maybe adjust a little bit. Okay, uh, I, I'm not sure if it will. I kind of, everything's very hectic, but I'll, I'll try and stop in when I can. Possibly. Okay, and that's fine too. Don't don't yeah. feel like you need to, you know. Yeah. It's kind of like scout. Sometimes you're going to be out. Sometimes you're going to be in. Okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but I I think uh, I think we we hit a, a a sad moment today. But you know, hey, we'll figure it out. Well, I mean, you guys are all mostly okay. The, of course, Bright Roar died, but uh, I think out of all of the players, you're the most well-adjusted to having your character. Uh... I, 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 no, death, death yeah. becomes me. Yeah. Right. So, and uh, any, one thing I need to ask, how about the jar with the uh, black pudding? Well, you don't see that on you. In fact... <laughs> most of your most of your weapons and and gear is, has been confiscated by the time you guys wake up you're mostly in tunics and burlap sacks and you know uh just not very good clothing and no armor and i'm and and i'm still exhausted uh well yes but you will get a chance for the long rest and everything like it's not it's not gonna be like oh you're at exhaustion five for the whole like rest of the session or whatever you know it, it you wake up at exhaustion five yes but once uh you get your long rest in and everything you'll be fine so dm how big is the uh the amulet of protection that Pesci has? Uh, well, I like to think of it like a Flav of Flav clock on you because, oh, like, wow. <laughs> because you're so small, but like, it's not that big per se, just you're a tiny little gnome. So like a regular, uh, large amulet looks just ridiculous on you, you know? Okay. Well, so it's not something he could hide or swallow. Gotcha. <laughs> Uh, but oh. that was just my impression of it. Like you're, you're certainly free to, you know. I, I would like to, if he's getting to be captured and he knows it and has some time to prepare something, um, I, oh, I, I'd like to know what my pulp, options are. Please don't pulp fiction it. Yeah, well, <laughs> if it was something that he could, that was my point. If he, it's something that he could swallow, he would swallow okay. it. But if it's not something that's like, if it's the size of the pocket watch or whatever it was, I don't think it's going to happen. Five years. <laughs> Oracle sort of like sees, looks around, sort of sees that the crystal is missing, the jar is missing. He just everything's gone awry. And <clears throat> so just starts... In his delusional state, he starts to crawl up into a ball and says, the world... Roll, roll for perception. Gorakul, roll perception. Gorakul, as you are crying you know having a a moment there is a glow coming from the edge of camp a glow that you recognize you now know with absolute certainty that this warband has the fallen star And Gorakul just sort of stares out at the glow and sort of whispers to himself, I don't want to get it. That's... And he sort of just sits there, staring at the glow. Yeah, and so Pesci, uh, if... If uh, you want to roll a con save, I'll let you try to swallow your your uh, amulet, um, but it, you might just end up throwing it back up. So I mm -mm. I don't think that I'll be able to do it. 
Uh, if I roll a one, I'm going to choke on it. <laughs> yeah, sure, let's do it. <laughs> See what happens. Uh, okay, so you do, you do like, get it down, but, like, but, like you, now, now every time you move, like, you can feel it. Like, it's like... <laughs> Clink, clink, you know, like it's not making noise like that other people can hear, but, but I like, can feel it in my stomach. Yes, yeah, that's fine. All I need to do is wait until we get back to oh, camp or where until they drag me into camp. I don't like I can when we start next session, I'll I'll think of a little bit more of how Pesci's gonna be captured and everything and role play a little bit better, sure, but yeah. um, yeah, uh, I'll have I'll have some ideas at that point. Yeah, yeah. But that's essentially, why I the idea is you. yeah, yeah. Once he gets back to the camp and he's sure that he can like do something with it, then at that point he'll probably just regurgitate it. <laughs> sure. This yeah. is this isn't his first time having to deal with shoving down something large down his throat. Yeah. So, uh, exactly. That's why I wanted to prepare you, give you time to think about what you want to you know do with the role play because the way this goes down could vary pretty greatly here so uh but the rest of everybody you know you guys will be captured and so uh like i said um and like you guys said uh this was a a bit of a downer you know moment but uh we're we're at a good point i don't want to cut us too short or anything so if anybody has anything else otherwise no i think we're good all right well with that, we will see what occurs with the party's capture and Pesci's arrival in the camp next time on Dragons of War. I want to thank you guys for playing. I want to thank anyone who's watching. And as always, everyone, good, good gaming! gaming.